Hello and thank you for joining us for this tutorial of Option 3 for the Bay Area Commuter Benefits Program. Option 3 is the employer provided transportation option. The employer provides free or low-cost transportation for its employees through a service operated by or for the employer. Employers who select Option 3 can choose to provide transportation from the employee's home community to the worksite in buses or vans or through a shuttle service. Option 3 may be the most costly benefit option for an employer to provide, as providing transit is an expensive proposition. However, for employees who are willing to make the financial commitment, Option 3 can be a highly effective means to attract and retain employees and to reduce vehicle trips to the worksite. The employer can select from these types of transportation, a commuter bus service where the employer operates bus service from communities where employees live, van pools, which are a good option if there's not enough demand to justify bus service, or a shuttle service from one or more Bay Area transit stations to the worksite. The cost of implementing Option 3 will vary based on a few different factors. The cost will depend upon the type of vehicles used, the frequency of service, and the number of routes offered. The cost to the employer can be reduced by collaborating with neighboring employers on joint service or by participating in a shared shuttle service offered by a Transportation Management Association, also known as a TMA, or a Business Improvement District. When designing and implementing Option 3, you'll need to consider how your employees are commuting to and from work. Your regional 511 support staff can help you map employee residential locations by utilizing the 511 Regional Rideshare Program GIS Mapping Service. This free tool provides a transportation survey that can be administered to employees to determine employee home zip codes, work schedules, and commute times. By analyzing which employee home location areas would be best suited as the point of origin for bus or van pool service, along with the morning and evening commute times that would serve the greatest number of employees, this tool allows employers to better determine which type of vehicle and service would be most appropriate for their business. Employers may even consider joining forces with neighboring employers who may be interested in sharing the costs of an employer-provided transportation program. Check with your neighbors or ask service vendors if they might match you with someone nearby. Different vendors have different service features. It is recommended that employers contact vendors to research and compare service costs. When designing and implementing Option 3, you'll need to consider how your employees are commuting to and from work. Your regional 511 support staff can help you map employee residential locations by utilizing the 511 Regional Rideshare Program GIS Mapping Service. This free tool provides a transportation survey that can be administered to employees to determine employee home zip codes, work schedules, and commute times. By analyzing which employee home location areas would be best suited as the point of origin for bus or van pool service, along with the morning and evening commute times that would serve the greatest number of employees, the tool allows employers to better determine which type of vehicle and service would be most appropriate for their business. Employers may even consider joining forces with neighboring employers who may be interested in sharing the cost of an employer When setting up Option 3, there are resources available to help. Go online to 511.org and click on the Bay Area Commuter Benefits Program link. Here, under the Helpful Resources section, you'll find the Employer Guide, which discusses Option 3 in greater detail and how it might work for your company. And under the same section, you'll also find a list of benefit providers that includes a list of commuter shuttle providers here in the Bay Area. For a list of all existing shuttle routes, Go to 511.org, click on Transit, and then click on Shuttles. Or, if you want more assistance, feel free to call 511 to connect with the regional rideshare staff for additional help. Here's one frequently asked question we've received about Option 3 that could be helpful to you. 
If an employer's worksite is served by a free bus or shuttle, will that be considered sufficient for option three? In order to qualify for compliance via option three, the employer must be helping to fund the shuttle. Employers can qualify via option three as long as they are helping to fund a shuttle service, even if not funding the full cost of the service. For example, if an employer contributes to a transportation management association or a business improvement district which operates a shuttle that serves its site, that would qualify. In order to select and administer option three, here are the steps you'll need to follow. Step one, designate a commuter benefits coordinator. For the purposes of the program, this is simply the person who will complete the registration form online and report to the 511 Regional Rideshare Program. Most employers are expected to assign this role to an existing employee in their HR department. However, this role can be assigned to anyone within the organization that the employer deems appropriate. An employer may also contract with a third party to serve as the commuter benefits coordinator. In the case of employers who belong to a Transportation Management Association, or TMA, the TMA may serve as the Commuter Benefits Coordinator. Step 2. Go to the program webpage and register your company, selecting Option 3. Step 3. Notify employees about the employer-provided transportation option you'll be providing and tell them how to take advantage of this benefit. Employee notification is one of the key requirements of the program. Since the goal of the program is to encourage employees to use alternative commute options, it is essential that employers inform employees about the commute benefit they offer and how employees can take advantage of the benefit. For help with notifying your staff, under the Helpful Resources section of the webpage, click on the link, quote, for your employees to access outreach materials such as draft emails and posters offered in English, Chinese, and Spanish. Step four. Make option three available to employees. Step five, keep records to document implementation of your commuter benefits program and make these records available in response to any requests from the Air District or MTC. To register your company, visit 511.org and click on the commuter benefits program link. On this web page, as you see here, you'll find a button to register for the program. Plus, you'll find helpful resources and useful documents to guide you through the registration process. You'll need your employer ID number in order to register for the program. If you didn't receive your employer ID number in the mail, click on the registration link to find out how to access your registration number. Remember, the Commuter Benefits Program is for Bay Area businesses with 50 or more full-time employees within the region. If your business has received mail notice about the program, we ask that you please go online and register for the program, even if you think your company does not fall under the requirements of the program. If you've been notified and have less than 50 full-time employees, you are not subject to the program. However, please visit the registration page to input your company information and provide your employee count so that we can update our records and remove you from our mailing list. Employer assistance is available. Visit the Commuter Benefits webpage to access the employer guide, a list of frequently asked questions, and a list of benefit providers as well as a video overviewing the program. Also, a helpline is available for specific questions and assistance over the phone. Just call 511 and say Commuter Benefits. The Bay Area Commuter Benefits Program has many benefits, including reducing taxes for both employers and employees and enhancing benefit packages to recruit and retain good employees. By promoting commute alternatives, the program will increase transit use, ride sharing, biking, and walking within our region. It will also reduce traffic congestion, improve air quality, and protect the climate. Overall, it's good for the economy and good for the environment. The deadline to comply has already passed, but for those Bay Area businesses with 50 or more full-time employees, we ask that you go online now to register for the Commuter Benefits Program and comply with the regulation. Go to 511.org and click on the Bay Area Commuter Benefits Program link to register now. If you need further assistance, use your phone and call 511 and say Commuter Benefits or use the contact information you see here. Thank you.